for me to be streaming and I'm admittedly a bit later than I wanted to be in starting and my restrictions in terms of how long I can broadcast today uh, haven't changed so I was hoping to stream for about the length of a, a feature length movie I'll do my best to keep as close to that but I have some groceries I need to buy and there is a certain hour at which uh, at which streams uh, or streams at which uh, stores close here, uh, usually earlier than what I'm used to. But um, figured seeing as it is uh, hashtag Lovecraft Day, um, I believe that just means it's H.P. Lovecraft's birthday. Um, it seemed appropriate to do a little bit of extra cultist simulator, so I hope you guys um, I hope you guys enjoy the abbreviated, but still, um, I'm going to have to skip over the credits uh, just to, to get a little more progress in. But I think you've all kind of heard that. I'm, I'm sort of treating this a little bit like it's an extension of, uh, of um, yesterday's broadcast. Uh, so I, I hope you do not mind, um, mind me jumping over that. So where we were, uh, we had started off on an expedition in Fox Lily Mellows. Um, We'd more or less got a lot of our uh, our threats under under control, and I was sort of suffering a little bit uh, for the fact that I don't have a lot of mirrors, and I've been sort of neglecting um, Valsine in terms of her uh, her um, uh, her repair jobs. But we'll we'll try and get that uh, we'll try and get that dealt with. So I don't have that much of a plan in terms of what I'm going to try and accomplish tonight because I don't necessarily know how much uh, longer I have but the sort of the standing orders right now uh, if I can complete paintings definitely go through vaults um, acquire material goods <laughs> um, and I think at this point I might just hammer away at Glover and Glover uh, pretty frequently um, given the fact that I've got such a small uh, a, such a small pool to draw from in terms of my my assets. Uh, I feel like I should be, I really should sort of be pushing hard on on making sure that I can keep the expeditions going. Um, let's just take a look. We're healing. We are studying. Um, right. I think I'm I'm feeling reasonably safe as far as the rest of the the details are concerned. So. Uh, the path through the mountains to the high meadow will be hard. The peasants of the mountains will seek to drive us away. If we return home safe, we may struggle to shake off the visions of this place. Madame Boucher has got a forge commission for me, so I'm going to talk with Dr. Adim about a new commission as well. It's nice to just have these uh, ready to go in the background. Although, again, I'm probably going to pursue... In fact, I'm going to put some extra reason in at Glover and Glover. Um, I'm essentially committing to uh, putting a lot of effort into Glover and Glover in a way that um, uh, that will sort of keep me from being able to do some of the commissions and such. Um, but I'm, I mean, it's a little contradictory to what I said in terms of being able to get um, get some more paintings done and such. But I know I'm going to be able to sort of work my way uh, work my way back up when I ultimately lose the job because of um, uh, because of neglecting it. So, anyways, uh, we've got my commissions. Whether or not I get them done is a whole other matter. But let's have a chat with Valcine about a repair job. I prepared the text for study. Now, given actually the well, the season of visions is passing. Sun flickers like a shadow. Dreams ripple behind the surface of mirrors. I must be careful not to drift from the waking world. Um. I'm trying to decide whether or not I want to queue up and yeah, you know what? I'm going to I am going to do the the queue up and uh, and read method again. So this is on the matter of deeds and serpents. This is probably the prophecies of the Naga rendered into English and illustrated by William Midnight in Paris in the 1880s. But it shows a number of divergences from that text. It's quite recent by the standards of VAC, VAC texts. So I'd love to go through the peacock door or peacock's door, but of course I've um, I don't really have anything available to um, uh, to to get me through it. So 
Um, I could go through the stag door. I'm just trying to think if there's anything that I really get from that. I think I'm going to hold off on trips to the Mansus unless it's the peacock door for the next little while. Exotic cravings, the thirst for blood. If only it were so simple, I will drain them far more deeply. Oh, and I do need to continue the uh, expedition. So we have three uh, challenges. Uh, bleak raving slopes lift the eye to distant snow-edged sky-straining peaks. It'll do. Uh, it'll be a devil of a job for us to find anything in there. Forge will sustain us. Winter will shield us. So we can add one forge follower to make this as close as I, I can. Uh, mortals, perhaps even ordinary mortals, but quite a number of them. They can be fought, seduced, or deceived, so we've got the deception down. And then finally, the fifth eye cursed. We will need heart or winter to suppress this curse. Otherwise, it will not keep us from our goal, but it may trouble us later. So it seems to me that uh, I should be investing in uh, the winter. So the, the, wi uh, the winter efforts. Uh, the work is more demanding now. It's I'll do the extra hours. Um... The Madrigard is strong in winter. She'll probably keep us from avalanches. So here we'll add Eau Claire. The hour called the Madrigard is at home in the cold. She will almost certainly keep us from falling. So this is also to protect us from the fifth eye curse when the time comes. And it also means that I'm going to have... Um, I'm going to have a little bit less to, to worry about when the logistical difficulties come up. I can just toss the money in. So I prepared the text for study. Uh, so we'll add the Spintrea to help uh, repair the mirror. My follower is at work on the mirror, and we will start translating the next text. So that would be the Encircling Tandra. Tantra. Uh, the explorer and entrepreneur T. Everett Duplant uh, Duplantis once attempted to plunder the temple where this text was held. His fate is recorded in an appendix. We've got the remarkable Frisbee here. How are you doing? You just got so embarrassed in your Stellaris playthrough when you realized that three slash three Corvettes on all of your fle fleets meant that your current fleet had three Corvettes in it and not that you could only have three Corvettes. I was so confused that the AI had such better fleets than I did. Um, I mean, the game doesn't necessarily help you because there is ultimately a cap in terms of the overall... Um, in terms of the overall... Uh, um, like the, the overall number of uh, fleet points you can put in. And then on top of that, um, the thing you were running into, like the three out of three, uh, you'll obviously, once you start like combining your fleets, you're gonna notice that that number runs around. The catch on that one is, is that in principle, that number should be very helpful because you can build these fleet templates. Uh, this is in the fleet manager, but I've always found that the fleet manager winds up being a double-edged sword. It kind of, um, it can potentially hurt you as much as it helps you on uh, on on some of the matters. So um, the the error is a completely understandable one that uh, <laughs> that um, I, I suppose every once in a while you just have to burn your hand to <laughs> to learn not to put it on the stove. Uh, I'm glad you figured it out though. Um, in my dreams, I know the path to the stag door through the maze of the bounds. Gearby will let me pass a uh, pass. But the path is always a puzzle. I will need reason, so I will use reason for the ascent. The stag door is the adept's gate. To pass it is to be initiated into the first true mystery of the house of the sun. The head, Girby, weeps to see me enter where it cannot, but it must let me pass. The scarred valves of the door grind open. So the reason I'm going to the stag door... Uh, oh, you know what? I wanted to go to the wait door, actually. Um, well, it's too late now. Um, but the reason I'm going is uh, I now have the uh, the season of despair, and I, it has taken up a dread. Uh, the younger Glover has taken me out for a lunch at his club. I am to do more of the things that I do more carefully, and in return, he will give me a little more of the money that I earn for his father. This is my senior position. Um, Notice the time, so this has got a 58 second counter. I'm not quite ready to uh, curl my hands into the correct shapes and begin. Not quite ready to uh, accept, settle into a comfortable existence. I've given up my dreams, I'll live well enough. Not ready to do that yet. 
Um, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, so this is the this is the thing that's going to keep me from being able to do too much uh, that's not Glover and Glover, but it will hopefully be financing these expeditions. So, significant conversations in a smoky meeting room. What do I need for my follower? Just more repair. And sorry, I'm feeling a, a, a little groggy. It's why I'm later at start. I mean, it's funny to say later in the sense that this isn't actually a time I would normally be broadcasting. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to go through the white door in hopes of getting a, a contentment because the setup that I've got right now makes it quite difficult for me to get contentment. I'm investing quite a bit into work, um, but uh, I have a few ways of, of getting it uh, getting it done. Frostguard and Shivering, we've made it through the mountains. So um, really we're set up for whatever, um, you know, whatever comes up. We'll add a Cyprian just because it maxes out our, uh, our stats. Um, but at this point here, I'm going to, I'm just going to toss a coin in the vault and we'll, um, we'll take what we can get from Voxley Meadows and move, uh, move into the Rending Mountains as soon as possible. Circling Tantra is translated. We'll move on to the Silver Book, so Fushin. Oh, <laughs> Veneer is out of, the <laughs> out of the expedition. All right, if I would like to summon something, uh, Subtle Rupture will help. I think I'm going to risk the Painted River. Yep, we got a Forbidden Epic. The attention of the hours is drawn to the bloodiest wars, and afterwards the histories are braided like hair. So again, the thing for me to remember is, because I took the more senior job at Glover and Glover, the likelihood of me just casually summoning stuff is quite a bit lower. Um, so, you know, the influences don't mean what they, uh, what they used to, or at the very least I need to think of influences as the sort of thing that I might, um, the sort of thing that I might, um, pull, uh, the sort of thing where I might pull, um, sorry, I'm trying to think of the right way to put it. Like, it has to be an influence powerful enough for me to consider, um, uh, like losing my job for it, um, is, is basically what I'm trying to say. So, you know, like, being able to summon the red grail, or not the red grail, the red <laughs> summoning the red grail would be a uh, a big thing. Um, but like summoning uh, a raw prophet, like maybe not the sort of thing you want to give up your Glover and Glover job for. Um, Azim, maybe more so. Uh, there's a great chamber in the Mansus through which the Painted River flows. The vagabond, it is claimed, painted it from memory in the years before she left the house. Certainly, some of the histories are concealed in its uh, are con sorry. Certainly, there are histories concealed in its design. I traced them with my hand last night. There were fragments of aquamarine paint beneath my nails and flecks of gold leaf when I was done. Okay. So let's go through the door that I wanted to, which was the white door. And again, this is just in pursuit of a, a cheap contentment. A lover's experiments and pleasure are endless in their ingenuity, but so far I can match them. So there's a passion. Um, given the fact that I do have the possibility of this uh, emerging, uh, sorry, for days, for days, the memories of this will interrupt my thoughts like lightning on a summer night. Um, given the possibility of, of these things emerging, I kind of want to keep a passion in, in the background because I don't necessarily want to make a, an enemy as a result. Right, my followers at work on the mirror. Always the last to leave, even after the Elder Glover. But in return, I get three funds, so. Their present pleasures will end ill for them. Perhaps they'll think it's worth it. Meanwhile, we can pass. When I arrive, Rhaenyra is haze with perfumes. When I leave, she lies tangled in a glorious sprawl of limbs. I'll carry her with me for days. So we've got a passionate memory, if I need it.
Nope. And I did have a contentment, so there isn't a need for me to go through the white door anymore, but of course, I'm already there, so. The mirror is repaired. It shines again as it did once before. Uh, so under talk, I have a little bit of free time now. I should think about what the next step is. Can't turn in any commissions. This seems a little silly, but I am going to speak of esoteric matters just to make sure that there wasn't a, a person that I can't... Um, that I didn't miss any recruits. I think this is just going to wind up annihilating a passion for me. Well, not annihilating, it, cooling down a passion for me. But um, it gives me something to do with talk. Um, all right, let's do the Gospel of Zacchaeus next. Oop, did I get that wrong? Oh, Greek. Of course. Alright. Uh, well, I can get a restlessness or potentially... <laughs> this will actually be a tougher one. Uh, we'll still go to the Orchard of Lights. but And an intensity of radiance, so that also is inconvenient. Light dews the skin and suffuses the air. A sixth order influence, significant resonances or correspondences that can be used in some rites to summon minions. So if I want to try and juggle a minion, I can uh, summon it. I could potentially try and break it down into something else uh, or I can bring in the hanger on or, or upgrade the lantern follower and um, be able to uh, be able to nullify the, the intensity of radiance. The invisible arts, Christopher Lopoli is said to have remarked, are as profitable as macrame, as ethical as tobacco smuggling, and in general as beneficial as roulette. Still, there is always the Orchard of Lights, and indeed the Orchard, with its glowing fruit and peaceful mists, is a place to be yearned for. Last night I walked there in the peaceful hours of the deep night. Even after waking, I still carry with me a little of the glory of the old sun. So with that, we're going to go through the peacock door. We will use the mirror. In my dreams, I know the path through the, uh, the glass garden to the peacock's door. Uh, the most admirable of doors, the door which shines like a mirror. Perhaps with the right resources, I can pass it. The peacock's door reflects the mirror I hold in my sleep, and the mirror reflects the peacock's door. Already a sensuous shiver ripples its surface. It aches for fracture, and when it finds that satisfaction, I will enter. Spare baits, memories of a better time keeps the wolf from the door. So if I wind up with um, the fascination, uh, the fleeting reminiscence will take me through. The question is whether or not I want to wait that long. It's going to be close. I think it's probably just as easy for me to uh, to recruit. Oh, supplies are low. Unless I send more funds, I will. Uh, we'll have to abandon the expedition. That was almost a, a big blunder. The elegist knows what is already lost. His power will almost certainly protect us. So this is against the fifth eye curse. So we know we'll. Uh, we know we will loot Foxley Meadows. The question is whether or not there's a cost for it. I am always the last to leave, even after the Elder Glover. can't wait for the fascination now. The Iron Book needs... you see... Lock the study door, the work begins. So we'll read the text again when uh, the translations are done, but yesterday we, we read these as we got them, so I can at least... Um, at least uh, dig through those details. Okay, uh, unresolved ambiguity. It seems like a little bit of a weaker choice just because, um, you know, I could potentially find something else, something greater in the Worm Museum and the Red Church, but as it is, I do still need to find locations in the Rending Mountains. So, in the Mansus, the hours strive one against another. As the struggles, excuse me, the struggles are resolved, they iron out the impossible, exalt the possible, tie the fraying braids of what has been into one golden ribbon of future. Everything is resolved. History becomes the past. Oop. 
There are, however, um, exceptions. Exploring with the scraps of knowledge may uncover secret locations in the Rending Mountains, 3,000 miles away among the wreck of the oldest empires. Last night I opened the peacock door, and beyond it, in the bright spaces of the house, I met the, a pilgrim adept. I am almost ready, they said, to pass the summit of the house, to prepare for my final ascent. Perhaps you'll join me. I will need allies to fight for my place. Here's a story to help you rise. So this gives me something to do with the talk verb, but as it is, I will take advantage of the fact that I have two mirrors and we'll go straight back. I may yet find a way to remove it. I always kind of wondered about uh, some alternatives to this. I might experiment, but... Treasures lie before us. Our power is stronger than the power that was here. The curse won't touch us. So I do need to remember, I'm using the dream verb a lot, which is good, but I, I do need to make sure that um, I take advantage of the passionate memory before too much time passes. Come with me. All right, so a case of mistaken identity. This isn't uh, who you would hope for after all. They're no one of particular importance and eventually they will pass from your memory. Perhaps there is no one else available that you would like to meet. kidnap them. Um, okay, well, I'll at least have the fleeting reminiscence to deal with this consciousness of radiance if it comes down to that. Actually, so I'm going to use the top. So my reasoning here is I already have the fleeting reminiscence to get rid of the consciousness of radiance. If I try and do an initiation for the hanger on, that means that I'm using my talk verb where I won't be able to use Velcine to upgrade the, or to repair the cracked mirror. The cracked mirror is what's going to get me going through the peacock door again. So I'm actually going to let this turn into fascination. And this is just because I will be able to get rid of, through either one of the fleeting reminiscences, I'll be able to fix the, I'll be able to fix the problem in, uh, in dream. Uh, a little bit more conveniently. Uh, one cha challenge that I'll face is that the expedition is just about to finish and it will generate a notoriety, so we know uh, that will attract the wrong kind of attention, but it's not a whole lot I can do about that. All right, well, I can pick fascination, but let's try and be a little more clever. Uh, this time I will go for the Worm Museum. This is partly because I know I have the um, the memory, and so hopefully that will That'll give me some contentment to work with things. Unfortunately, I didn't check to see what was going to be coming up next turn, so this might come back to bite me, but let's see what's in the War Museum. Okay, it paid off. A Vagabond's map. The Vagabond is the one hour who could never enter the Mansus, but she goes everywhere else. And if you believe her boasts, she's the only one who knows all of the histories. Sometimes she lets someone record her travels. Exploring with a scrap of knowledge, uh, may uncover secret locations in the lone and level sands far from the Size of the Mansus is negotiable, and so last night in the Worm Museum, I saw one of the worms who took Vienna, caged next to a worm taken from the soul of a child. In dreams, they, were, they are more visible than, uh, than waking, smooth and dark as jewels. The walls bear stories of the first and second worm wars. The third is too recent to have passed into the histories. So we don't really have a whole lot that we can do with um, Dream until we get the uh, until we get the the mirror repaired again. We have repaired the Iron Book. Of course, reading all of this stuff is going to be bad for my uh, my emotional state too. How the end will begin. So this is not necessarily going to be the sort of thing that I'm 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 going to guess that how the end will begin does not generate contentment. Um, but, uh, like I said, we've got a couple of minutes of the passionate memory, and it looks like it's a season of suspicion that we're dealing with. So, now here's the real shame. If that mystique didn't, 
if I didn't generate that mystique from talking about the occult, uh, it's possible that the season of suspicion would have gone by without the without the notoriety getting picked up. But that's what I get for for making my choices. I think I had Saliba at the top last time. All right, we've dipped claw, uh, we've dipped claws in ammonia and bound them to our faces to deaden the foxily scent. Even so, our heads swim. Our bodies respond to a half dozen contradictory desires. Here and there, uh, sorry, here are the bones we sought. Loot them and get out. The foxilies are as white as cave skin, white as frost, white as unsullied sheets. It is hard to look away. We will close our eyes and struggle away with our treasure. So, Claire and Violet did. Good work. And we've got some rose pearl dust, more bitter black salts, and martensite paste. All right, so the, all of the paints that we don't really need. Uh, rose pearl dust, we don't have a heart painting yet, but um, we did, uh, we do obviously have, um, have, we did have this before, but fair enough. Not every expedition is going to be a uh, a barn burner. So let's uh, let's just turn through the uh, turn through the the sorry. We'll move into the locations in the Rending Mountains uh, right away. So the the Eye of Ikermawi. Uh We have read of a Sultan who, 800 years ago, could sleep only beneath the stars. He ordered the construction of this observatory so that the stars could be accurately depicted on the ceiling of his bedchamber. Regrettably. Uh, the stars they saw were not safe for the unprotected human mind. The Sultan's successor ordered the observatory sealed. The Rending Mountains stand between us and the observatory. The door will be sealed and barred against us. The visions we find may tear at our senses. So this definitely sounds like a forge, uh, a forge challenge to me. So given that, the passionate memory is probably going to be... Uh, the passionate memory is going to um, expire relatively soon. I might want to read um, some of the more intense books right away. I think I get one more turn of translation. So yeah, we'll read the Known Unknown Tantra, but I think I will read how the end will begin first. Lock the study door, the work begins. The air is curdled now. I am home again in this lumpen flesh. Better, perhaps. So well, I'm just going to leave the uh, I'm going to leave the dream slot open for now. By the way, if there's time remarkable frisbee, uh, I can show you. Uh, so I think you'll need the DLC for this, but. Um, I will show you how you can make a cult in Stellaris. I normally do this in Stellaris streams and then uh, some of the cultist people see it, but if you would like, I can show you uh, I can show you a little uh, a little something that I've, I've done in um, in Stellaris to to bring a, a little more of this game into it. Okay, our challenge plans for the next uh, sorry, our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. We can add funds now or I could send another follower. So we definitely are going to need either winter or forge for the mountains. Fifth eye curse will need winter or heart. So it does seem to be the sort of thing where I should bring more forge. Um, but in this case, I'm actually going to bring Violet and Eau Claire and then follow up with the uh, the forge in order to get the door. Oh, in a different CS3. Okay, good. I, I can never remember who I've shown it to now. I've, obviously, I've done this a couple of times. So um, that's funny because like I normally I've normally done it uh, on Stellaris streams rather than Cultus Simulator ones. So that's good though. It's it's definitely I was very well. Obviously, I was very pleased with myself as soon as I found that. It's because I won't shut up about it. But. Um, Madrigard is strong in winter. Probably she will keep us from avalanches. Let's add Eau Claire to make that certain. The error called the Madrigard is at home in the cold. She will almost certainly keep us from falling. It's actually a small relief that I don't need to switch games uh, because, again, I'm a little bit uh, I'm a little bit uh, tight on on time. So I uh, 
if I take away the, the chance to if I take away the chance to to play more of this game. I, just the translation takes takes a little more than I would would normally. Want. Okay, so now I need to reconsider this whole idea of reading scary books. Uh, shared gasps, tangled limbs, heat, and secret dark. Right, prepared the text for study. So again, as long as we don't generate any dread, um, I will actually be reasonably safe. Um, but what I'm going to do here is I'm going to wait the 10 seconds to see... Oh wait, I can't do that because uh, it'll, it'll expire. Uh, but I will wait the 5. And then I will read how the end will begin, knowing full well... So here's the real danger about doing this. Um, if I read how the end will begin and it generates a dread, and between starting how the end will begin and uh, the end of the season of despair, um, if I get a dread, then I know a second one is going to be coming up and I'm two thirds on the way uh, to a loss. Now, I don't think there's too many events that will put me at risk of generating a dread, so I'm going to run with it. But this is an example of something where you know, with one unexpected uh, side effect, let's say, uh, this can actually turn, this can turn against me very rapidly. But anyways, uh, a prophecy of the Wars of the Roads recorded in the subcontinent in the days before the great hooded princes. In the foretold war, the children of the leashed flame march on the circles, uh, sorry, cities of the continent, but the enactors of the solar law and the triple sisterhood joined forces to hold them back at tremendous cost. Let me just see what this is. Hello? Pretty much any time the phone rings, I'll know that it's not, uh, I'll know that it's not actually, um, it's not a real call, but I should, should answer it anyway. Um, I'm safe for now. My adversary is not enough evidence to bring a case against me and they found no new clues. So I got lucky with the weary detective. It's actually kind of funny given that they've made the, um, the weary detective behave in this manner. Um, to me, it's a little funny that, uh, like, I can see lots of reasons why you might want to encounter more than the weary detective. Um, but it's so funny that technically at the start, the best way to handle uh, the hunters is to not try and take them out. Um, because anything that comes up afterwards is going to be someone who's better at sort of taking you on or better at resisting you. Um, but then I suppose when you're first playing the game, you don't necessarily know that you're going to be facing a harder hunter. Um, so it's... Uh, I, I, but anyway, it, it, it's still kind of funny to me because I never really... In some cases, I, I would sort of just chew through hunters without, uh, you know, without really thinking of it. But now I've sort of realized that the consequences of, of having a hunter after you aren't necessarily all that severe. And so as a result, I don't sort of drop everything and try and try and deal with them. Maybe I should, because I mean, there is there are actually some interesting things that you can do with the hunters, which I don't believe I've done on stream yet. So um, anyways, restlessness, as you can hear from my creaky chair, I'm slightly restless myself um, and we've got a vitality for it. So, yeah, uh, the contentment's going to protect me from the uh, from the book I'm about to read, but I do need to figure out what I need to do with the restlessness. Hey, Dodge Viper GT, great to see you. Uh, I'm doing all right. I'm feeling a little fuzzy just because um, I started a bit later than I was hoping to today um, because, uh, well, like, so again, this was an, this is only because of the, you know, the Lovecraft's birthday. Um, there was the uh, contest that I was talking about on the Leather fi Factory or Draw or whatever the appropriate term is. Uh, the winners have been picked for that. But um, it seemed a good occasion to, uh, to stream, uh, stream Cultus Simulator again. But with that in mind, um, I, uh, I got a later start than I wanted to for this particular stream. And I do need to still go get some groceries and whatnot. So... 
uh, it may still be a shorter, a shorter little run that I wanted, but I figured uh, the best I could could do, and what I wanted to do was a little encore to uh, to yesterday's stream. How are you doing, the Eyes of Sin? It's good to see you. I wasn't expecting to see you here actually, because I know you're normally otherwise engaged at this hour. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now, or I could send another follower. For those of you who don't know the Eyes of Sin. Um, she is the one who did these level, lovely emotes, and now three of these are accessible to those of you who are uh, who have a subscription. And there's actually a few. There's more that stuck around with the subscriptions than um, I was thinking would after the uh, after the birthday celebration. So that was nice of you. Thank you for doing that. Um, but I need to kind of zoom in on a couple of them. Uh, but the Eyes of Sin is available for commissions. If you go to her um, uh, her Twitter, I believe her Twitter account is well, actually. You know what? I could just bring it up because I'm in Cultist Simulator, so I'm allowed to tab out. If you go to twitter.com/slash Eyes of Sin, uh, she this is uh, where you can you can hire her if you are in need of some emote or artwork. Uh, she also has some examples of her artwork on there, but if you'd like to just see more of the stuff that she's done most recently, you can visit her coffee page, um, and this will be where some of her more, uh, some of her more recent work has been uh, brought in, both sort of personal work that she's done as well as, um, as well as uh, of sort of work, um, work that she's done for hire. Um, but if you would like, um, because this is what she does sort of for a living still, um, and it is a tricky one because you know it's not easy to make a make a living through art. But I I will mention that this is actually a way that you can directly support her. Um, and in this case, uh, I believe you can buy a coffee for five dollars each. Um, and if you, you know, if you would like, um, I would definitely encourage you to uh, to consider picking uh, picking one up uh, because it's something that I would like. You know, I I definitely. I definitely benefit from uh, having her, you know, having her being able to do her sort of stuff. Um, I'm sort of lucky enough that I've, uh, you know, I've been able to kind of keep employed, admittedly, and work from home. Uh, and I try and at least pass a little bit of that on to the people who make the things that I like. Although, of course, I have paid for the, uh, the emotes. So um, sorry to turn it into an advertisement every time um, Eyes of Sydney comes in. Uh, but number one, uh, whether or not you get anything on the coffee page, uh, you can at least view the gallery and see some of her work. Um, but uh, on on top of that, uh, I, I do hope a few of you, if you have the means, uh, do consider picking up um, do consider picking up the um, or sorry, uh, doing a a donation. Sorry, I lost lost myself in the in the windows. Our expedition plans for the next challenge will consume funds. Uh, I can add funds now, or I could send another follower. So we're adding Laidlaw to give us a little bit more forge. All right, a multiplicity of vistas, a bewilderment of views. Gaze upon me and rejoice in the dissolution of your senses. So we've got a couple of wildering mirrors which we can use. I'm still holding off because I've got the contentment, which I'm going to need to turn into a um, uh, the contentment that I'm going to need to turn into or, or uh, neutralize the despair with. However, uh, one thing that I can do is turn this restlessness into a promotion. So we're going to take our pawn, we'll add the restlessness to get rid of it, and then we will add the formula of voluptuous. My follower will kneel as a novice and rise as initiate. I will administer the necessary oaths myself. I will um, mention too, actually, the Eyes of Sin is very fond of Grail, so um, I was uh, hoping that she would stop by for at least one of these streams, given that I went for a Grail. <laughs> a Grail cult. Although, I don't know if she has the... I don't know if the interest in, in Cult of Simulator is, is still there or not. All right, I gotta shift everything down a bit to accommodate my new, 
my new book. battle between the imperishable legions and the leashed flame. The legions will perish and the flame will be unleashed. Uh, the colonel and the lionsmith are gods who are flesh, but the wolf divided is a god who was blood. Cunning, strength, and agony are the three roots of victory, and here is their secret doctrine. So, mysteries of force. As suspected, we did wind up with some dread, so we'll put that into the dream and uh, get, rid of, um, get rid of it. So, dread... Uh, the reading. I've seen too much, a nameless, gnawing fear has its teeth in my hopes, an existential horror, and contentment. I'm happy, I think. Okay, on to the next reading. I think we'll just keep reading, uh, reading in order now. Uh, these may generate other side effects, um, but I can't, you know, I can't sit on the books forever, so. You still have your grail card and the pin and the stickers. Yes. I'm glad that you've still got them. I hope they're. I hope they were welcome. Um, all right. On Matthias and Amethyst Imigo pursuit, an account of an occult romance. A certain mech claims to have written this in a single night as part of his initiate initiation into the Theban branch of the House of Leith, that order of immortals who use the arts of water to conceal themselves. Matthias defied us to hunt the names of the moth uh, in the wood to populate his pinned collection. The Amethyst Imigo had dallied with the witch and sister, but she'd returned to the, uh, the wood to plead the moth's pardon. The moth, as a whim or a penance, sent her out to lure, uh, lure the long to a slough of nightmares. Well, upon the Forge of Days, who will end all nights, will almost certainly shatter this warded door. And again, the fifth eye curse, we've already got enough heart or winter, so we'll follower will kneel as a novice and rise as an initiate. I will administer the necessary oaths myself. This is uh, getting rid of the restlessness. All right. As usual, curl my hands into the correct shapes and begin. All doors must open as all lives must end. This door has found its end here today. We'll need to add money before too long. Once, um, once this dream is done, I'm going to use the Wildering Mirror to go back to the back through the Peacock Door. And it looks like the challenges for the Vagabonds map are still the same, so I should consider um, I should consider uh, the uh, the library um, the library. Uh, hideout. Mirrors are calm, the sun is steady, the glory recedes. I am sane if that means anything. No fascination drives your visions, it's over for now. So here I'm probably just going to pay for the uh, pay for the healing. In pain we are born, in hunger we are embraced, in delight we are devoured. These are the gates of her body. Oh, sorry, these are the gates of the body, and this is her promise. Not all that is born decays. In remembrance of that promise, we give ourselves to the feast. And by the way, I'm sorry, uh, Dodge Viper, I, I think I read, but I didn't respond to what you said about not knowing what's going on in the game, but still finding it entertaining. I mean, part of the game is the fact that it's, uh, you learn it while playing it, but um, it is definitely, fun. in my opinion at least, a lot of the fun is um, piecing everything together as, as things go by. And then I think there are some things that are left deliberately uh, open, open to interpretation so that people can go online and type in all capital letters at each other about what it all means. So, persistent disciple, loyal and keen-sighted. So I don't have any cracked wildering mirrors to work with yet. Uh, in that case, I think I'll just leave the talk verb open. There we go. The sun still moves, the wind still walks. My journals are the labyrinth clue. And Matthias loved the Imago, did he? Can, lo uh, can long love? Or has that organ of their soul desiccated beyond repair? The Imago loved Matthias. Did she? Or did she only enact a whim? 
He pursued her through the wood, but at the last she turned aside from the nightmare sloth, and they, uh, they lay together where the bounds grow bright. So they learnt the grail's pleasures, and this is the lore they won. Another delightful sacrament. All right, on the matter and deeds of serpents, this was probably the prophecies of the Naga rendered into English and illustrated by William Midnight in Paris in the 1880s, but it shows a number of divergences from that text. And this is uh, certainly quite recent from the standards of fact text. Serpent folk called the great hooded princes, uh, sorry, uh, came, to know, sorry, came to know the order called the House, uh, the house of Leith and warred across uh, the miles with them. They made an alliance with the mother of ants whose children they had been, dot, 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 and onto the peacock door. The peacock's door reflects the mirror that I hold in my sleep, and the mirror reflects the peacock's door. Already a sensuous shiver ripples its surface. It aches for fracture, and when it finds that satisfaction, I will enter. Also, I'm reading uh, Isaacson's comment about the stickers you so kindly arrange, and I'm imagining, you know, I'm imagining this kind of arrangement, just sitting at a desk, putting them all, all where they need to go. Oh no! I forgot to put the money into the invest uh, the, the expedition. You can try again when the dust is settled. All right. Well, we didn't lose anyone, um, but I did lose the money that I put into it. However, I will try and make something out of this. So I'm gonna have a chat with the raw prophet, and before we go on the expedition, I'll at least study one of my unresolved ambiguities. Uh, and then while I'm at it, I want to see really quick whether or not there's something I can do with Glover and Glover. I'm always the last to leave, and then yeah, even after the Elder Glover. So, I put Glover and Glover in here. Send an alluring minion to ensnare and disgrace and annoyance. Everyone has a weakness for some particular pleasure. I will send a minion who understands the many natures of pleasure, and they will very likely succeed. So if I really want to move up in Glover and Glover, I do have that option available to me. I don't think I'll use it quite yet, but it's nice to know I have that option. Um, I had better show up to work though if I'm gonna <laughs> if I'm not gonna try and, and get a promotion through another means. So normally I just wind up killing uh, the kid, but uh, well, the kid, the son. <laughs> Um, for all I know, the, the younger Glover is older than me. But... Alright, the eldest has damaged my health. I'll need to rest before I am fully recovered. Cure, cure your affliction with funds or vitality. I don't think I'll be able to wind up with any vitality in time, um, but of course the whole point of working the, the more demanding job is to be able to afford things like medicine. Okay, well, I definitely don't want the Splendor. I think I'm going to try the Red Church, although I suspect this is just going to get me something like a favor from authority. Um, but I'm not sure the Worm Museum is going to give me what I need two times in a row. Hey, I did get a Vagabond's map. Passing the Peacock's door. I saw the Red Church again last night with its pews of bone, the stained glass and shades of ruby, the golden altar that beats like a heart. That night, the names of the Grail gathered to speak th uh, of those long who'd sworn off the pleasures of the bedchamber, save between a man and a man, or a woman and a woman. They still pay the tribute of delight, an ivory said. They do not bear fruit, a lovely said. If Forge and Son had only joined, a thirstly lamented. Then they fell to gossiping of the long in the house of Leith, and their deeds in the desert, I remember it still. All right. So, more scary books, more dread. Uh, the text describes how the Great Hooded Princes escaped, or will escape, from the Fifth History, where they had died, or were doomed to die. Uh, they engaged in a secret conquest of the land of the Great River, called India in some histories, and have ensured that all other conquests of that land are false conquests. And we have the formula Ophidian for it, so... Serpents are the visitors which may not be denied. Nearly every summoning rite requires an awk influence, this lore will provide it. So it would be nice for me to figure out how I can... Uh, I guess the easiest contentment I can pick up would be through the explore verb. Uh, with a quick trip to the Ecdysis Club. I think for the time being I'll settle with uh, 
applying medicine, and then we will read the Encircling Tantra. The Encircling Tantra speaks of the Serpent Gate, that hungry portal sometimes known as the Spider's Door, which is sacred to the mother of ants, uh, through which the Great Hood of Princes pass. trying to think where the other one came from. This place merits closer investigation. Uh, the tombs of the shadowless kings, a rearing outcrop of lion-colored rock, laborers carved tombs for the first kings of this land. Those kings had hoped to be immortal, and perhaps one of them is. The others lie among their... Oops. The others lie among their trinkets. The, a hereditary order of guardians watches closely. You found all the expeditions in the Rending Mountains, although you can find and visit the tomb several times. So this is generally good news. Uh, this means that I can move directly onto the Vagabond's map. I think before I go too far down the road, uh, I will use my... I'm going to have the Raw Prophet and the Caligian chat again. Uh, and in this particular case, I am going to visit the Ecdysis Club. This may generate notoriety, but I can sort of afford that right now. Explore this. Um, the entrance is lost beneath the soft drapes of cinnamon, a uh, crimson cinnabar, and intercardine. Above the door, the Kalbado in Girum Imis Nocte and Komsumi Merigni. It has been rendered as into the night circle we fly until the fire enjoys us. Dancer enters from stage left, swathed in red bandages, bandages tight as tendons. She peels one away, another, another. This must be a trick. One cannot remove garments so softly that the bones beneath the skin are visible. Bone pink as peach flesh, organs nestled like grapes. Lights dim, gutter, go out, and the stage's red star with them. All our lips are dry. So we have the awareness of appetite, which unfortunately doesn't really help me right now. Every sense is heightened, every sensation deepened. Uh, but in this particular case, I will settle for investigating at least one of the, the spots in the Vagabond's map. So Vagabond map takes us to the Lone and Level Sands. The river, wrote the sage Mech in the Book of the Centipede, runs through the sands out of myth and into legend. This is the place the centipede was born, they say. The sands of which Mech wrote hide perilous curiosities. Let's try and make a move, so... Everyone has a weakness for one particular pleasure. I will send a minion who understands the many natures of pleasure. They will very likely succeed. This is going to involve a little bit of fancy footwork on my part, but I think I can manage it. And we do have a season of despair coming up, so I need to be mindful. Uh, the Tantra includes an invocation, uh, but cautions, helpfully, that the invocation is of sufficient power to reach the Serpent's Gate from the Hunter's Gate. A road which has no destination is itself a destination, it adds helpfully. <laughs> and we've healed up, so we've got a couple of things that are, are working in our favor. So I think I'm actually just going to start with paint. Well, can paint, but then I'm going to get fascination. But you know what? That actually isn't necessarily bad right now. So, um, just wish I had something else to throw in. I'm only going to do three passion. Four passion uh, gives me a couple of risks that I don't want to deal with right now. You never know, this might be a living. Add passion to make a distinctive painting, add mystique, and especially notoriety to attract attention and make more money. Be careful if you use notoriety, exhibiting paintings will keep you in the public eye. I suppose I could use the fourth passion and just make something. Uh, I could make like a heart painting or something like that. But for now, uh, let's do. I'll do a painting about my dread. Uh, under study, let's read the silver book. 
Members of the Ordo took an oath, the silver chain, that forbade men to lie with women or women with men, for that what may come is not always a crime of the sky, yet that is a furious danger. It was apparently permissible for men to lie with men and women with women. In fact, uh, Burzgash suggests that the, uh, suggests that should be encouraged to distract from other temptations. And then for Dream, I'm trying to think whether or not it would make sense for me to try and go go through the white door. If I do that, then I'm definitely signing myself up for more dread. Let's uh, let's see what um, what comes up. I don't think I'm going to be able to get anything out of the Agdysis Club. But... Colors of the night. I could spend money or uh, on better paints, or perhaps I could find more exotic pigments. I wait word. So this sucked up one of the passion. For some reason, I'm, I thought I had one less than I did. I basically wanted to make sure I had one passion available in case uh, Venera wanted my attention. World goes away, and we found Misana. A quietly prosperous village rests in a crook of the river, a surprising splash of green against the dusty land behind. The longevity of the villagers surpasses the natural. What are they hiding? So for now, I'm going to run with the Ectasis Club again. We'll pay the entry fee. I think we're going to have the Season of Despair come up. before. Well, no, it has to because it's like four seconds, but uh, the entrance is lost. Uh, so backdrops for tonight's performance are painted with nightmare images out of uh, uh, Piranesi. Vast and possible subterranean prisons. The dancers are monster masked. Sudden's fire, each movement snapping with wicked intent. go to the white door this time. My minion has returned. They found a particular temptation to which our annoyance succumbed readily at the small cost of the utter destruction of their reputation. With the younger Glover gone, I might rise even higher. If you don't attend this job regularly, you might suffer a demotion. So at least in this case, I've got a little bit more, uh, got a little bit more leeway as far as uh, time is concerned. I'm willing to wait for a second. Okay, and we got a glimmering, so. The dancers cross beyond the backdrops. Cross them, seem to move upon their staircases and become drawbridges. Their bodies become smudged with backdrop paint. Growl arises from the audience, the walls of the house. Okay, I was hoping to get a little more done, especially around contentment and whatnot, but let's see here. The artist's reward, my recent work has attracted a couple of callers. With luck, something will sell. So I do have a fascination, which under normal circumstances would have been okay. Oh, actually, yes. Ah, that sucks. Um, so this is going to turn over before... Um, before I need it to. So if I'd just been patient, the fascination would have carried me through. All right, well, there's a bunch of glimmering. There's a contentment. I still have staleness after all of that. Fair enough. I can't do that again. Well, for now at least. I'm certain that my adversary has lodged a copy of their notes elsewhere, with their solicitor, with their superior, or even with a contact in the press. This is troubling. And I think at this point here, uh, I'll stop trying to make things work with the Ecdysis Club. I'll just, uh, I want to keep my, I want to keep my um, summons around. So we'll work with these. Um, Again, I need to bring the winter followers and then a forge follower in to protect me against the snow. Let's get Valsine in to repair the mirror, and then let's just show up to work. Oop, what am I doing? Read the 
Silver Book, the manual prescribes potential countermeasures to protect those who might be tempted to go against the oath, masks, disfigurement, severe poetic disciplines. Uh, those who break it are to be punished with death, although there are lesser punishments prescribed for various acts that don't involve actual coitus. An invocation is included, which was used to incorporate these punishments into summoning rites. So here we have the Menescape Invocation. Again, we're really getting a lot of uh, a lot of lore that we already know, but if it comes down to it, we can just use it to upgrade uh, things that we find. So now we'll read the Gospel of Zacchaeus. Seven were the wounds of his body, seven the doors of the of the house, seven the lesser aspects of the hours, and knock the aspect above all, for the mother of ants is the mother of salvation. Go my hands into the correct shapes and begin. The younger Glover's board seat remains unoccupied. So right now I'm just going to take advantage of the fact that I don't have a, a supervisor watching me. Um, but I might go for the higher position when I'm feeling a little more secure in my reputation. Contentment got picked up. Hmm. This actually gives me a reason to paint. Um, rising power, reassuring energy, sixth order influence, significant resonances, or correspondences. This can be used in some rites to summon minions. The hours have been called unmerciful, but they permit sleepers sometimes to walk the orchard of lights where fruit excuse me, glows like a sunset, where the roots of the trees are shaped for peaceful rest, where the mist soothes the heart. I was there last night, and the taste of the fruit lingers, sharp and sweet as the passage of spring to summer. Okay, so let's, uh, even though there's only a minute left on that dread, uh, I'm going to take the fascination. I'm going to clear it out. Uh, that just removes any threats on the table. I don't think I have anything to worry about from the wrong kind of attention, because we're just at the start of the expedition. It should be over in time for the... Oh, but I'll generate notoriety when I do the painting. Oh well, nothing to be done. So we'll add Eau Claire to uh, help out. The animal called the Madrigard is at home in the cold. She will almost certainly keep us from falling. I also need to get some Spintrea before too long, so. I'll just confirm. Yes, I have 90 seconds, so here I'll take my open soul. This time I have to put all my passion uh, in, so you never know. This might be a living. So we'll take the pulsing airs, a rising power, a reassuring energy, and clearly I'll be tapping my toe while, uh, while I paint this. The book includes a description of a rite which can be used to raise a corpse to half-life in memory of he who bled for the wood. It requires a corpse and sufficient power. The author suggests an invocation of winter lore and an assistant touched by powers of the wood. So I believe we already have the rite of Mother's Mercy. We do. And a consent of wounds, which we already have. So on to the iron book. Members of the Ordo took an oath, the iron chain, that required them to remain hidden from the world. This manual includes presumably long obsolete addresses and passphrases that could have been used to find the Ordo's contact in the town of Iria. I don't think this will generate um, fascination for for making the special painting. But if it does, I'm in a little bit of trouble. So here we'll add the rose pearl dust for the heart. And the mirror is repaired. It shines again as it did once before. Okay, who else do I want to talk with right now? I don't think anybody. curdled now. I am home again in this lump in flesh. Better, perhaps. 
So let's go through the peacock door. There's a reason why I repaired that mirror. The peacock's door reflects the mirror I hold in my sleep, and the mirror reflects the peacock's door. Already a sensuous shiver ripples its surface. It aches for fracture, and when it finds that satisfaction, I will enter. Wolf despair prowls elsewhere. No dread empowers this despair. It's over for now. And as long as I can avoid getting some fascination, I should be okay too. Sweet dawn of the sea rebirths you. All right, so let's just see here. Frost garden shivering. We've made it through the mountains. Good news there. Um, we do need a forge follower, but because I was a bit of a bonehead last time, I'll add the funds now, and then we'll add... Uh, We'll add the forge follower. All right, the final part of the manual describes the, pu the punishment for Odor Ordo members who break their oath of secrecy. That includes an invocation used to summon the spirit called King Crucible as an agent of vengeance. Uh, Yivni cautions that this must be a last resort when the oath breaker would otherwise go unpunished. Summoning King Crucible might draw the personal attention of the Forge of Days. So here we have the Calidate invocation, which I already have. And I believe our last book, yes, The Known Unknown Tantra. After that, I need to learn Frisian. The Known Unknown Tantra describes a journey to the white door of the Mansus, beyond which speech ceases. It describes a mantra which can be used at the right place and time to achieve that door. I made something unique, something extraordinary, something I will never dare exhibit publicly. This cannot possibly ever see daylight. It will earn no funds. So of course, this is going to generate notoriety, which is going to get picked up right away. Um, and uh, I believe that will produce damning evidence. Uh, so I'm going to need to send a follower to deal with that pretty quickly. Witch and sister. Uh, she has. Uh, she has been a pair of funeral birds, and here she is, as she would wish to. Uh, she would wish to drown. Okay, let's get on to Glover and Glover. I am going to be interested in when the next season of Suspicion emerges, um, because the. I'd prefer to send the Kalid. Uh, I'd prefer to sell it, send the, the Caligeen with his eight uh, moth to deal with the um, the evidence. Call upon the Forge of Days, who ends uh, what will not change. Our tools are ready. We should be able to penetrate this warded door. We had Laidlaw, and we'll almost certainly shatter this warded door. So I'm going to leave the talk verb open because I'm going to have some other uh, I'm going to have some other uses for my followers. Um, I'm going to risk the Worm Museum this time. Rat. The nectar would have been nice. All right, perfect frost. The world is still as ice. Each movement is a journey. A 15th order influence. This might be the personal attention of an hour. This can be used in some rites to summon minions. If unused, it will become dread. So even dread has its uses, but this is a little, uh, <laughs> this is definitely a little, um, A little much. Um, I might, I might just paint with it, but there's all sorts of risks that come out of doing that. All right. Portraits are so well done with every character. They all have so much character. Do you have a favorite portrait? Um, I know Laidlaw is. We've got three, so Laidlaw's missing, as well as um, Violet and Eau Claire. I can show you those in a minute. There's Laidlaw, there's Eau Claire, there's Violet. Of course. <laughs> uh, last night I visited the Worm Museum, which is both within the Mansus for security and without for safety. The hours have charged the Colonel with its defense, and even the Lionsmith does not challenge him here. Winter is the chiefest aspect of this place. The worms thrive where things end, but they can also be ended, uh, and they must if the Mansus is to endure. This morning, the chilly certainty of the Colonel's hand still lies on my shoulder. Uh, 
yeah, I'm still holding... Well, actually, we've got a couple of events, so I'm going to risk it. I'll uh, I'll take Bells and see. I'm hoping that we're able to get this repair done before... Uh, before the expedition finishes. Okay, so we do now have damning evidence. If this ever reaches trial, I will be in serious danger. Even if this hunter is disposed of, another may find their notes. So, the big challenge right now is that this is damning evidence at a time that the people who get rid of damning evidence are currently occupied. Uh, but with luck, we'll be able to, to move past that. Uh, the light of the lantern can only ever reveal the space between the forest shadows. So, if I bring the perfect frost in, it might be possible with the right combination of influences to raise more power. Yeah, I don't think that's happening. <laughs> I definitely have a few things I can do to um, nullify the perfect frost, but I do kind of want to paint with it. It's not necessarily the best choice at the moment, but it's its just something I really want to do. <laughs> I'm going for it. I'm going to be drowning in dread. Expedition continues. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now, or I could send another follower. All right, so the Grey Dawn Oil. I could spend money on the paints, or perhaps I could find more exotic pigments. Um, I will try the Red Church. I'm not sure it's going to get me what I need. Well, this actually may help, so a favor from authority. Uh, each of the stained glass windows of the Red Church is devoted to a distinct appetite, and the scenes they show are from life. Last night I saw in one of the uglier win sorry, last night in one of the uglier windows I saw the appetites of a certain public fe uh, figure satisfied in private. I know he won't want this information made public. Perhaps he will show me some consideration. So this gives me 300 seconds to deal with that evidence, which is good. Um, I don't believe I have any... Yeah, all my mirrors are cracked currently, so I don't have anything I can use there. However, Tristan Interludes, I have... Uh, if I have a particular friend, now is the time to renew our connection. Lover's experiments and pleasure are endless in their ingenuity, but so far I can match them. For days, for days, the memories of this will interrupt my thoughts like lightning on a summer night. So I'm kind of glad that the passion didn't get eaten up. Uh, the Ellie just knows what is already lost. His power will almost certainly protect us. And we'll give my last Spintrea to Elsine. What am I doing? What have I done? This will break someone's heart, perhaps everyone's made something unique, something extraordinary, something I will never dare exhibit publicly. So of course the risk of doing this is that I've generated a notoriety exactly at the time that the damning evidence came out. The mirror is repaired, it shines once again, it shines again as it did once before. So I'm not going to be able to repair the other cracked mirror. Um, I think I'm just going to go crashing through the peacock door again. When I arrive, Rhaenyra is haste in perfumes. When I leave, she lies tangled in a glorious sprawl of limbs. I'll carry her with me for days. And that contentment won't really help me from the winter that I've got, so... And we get a bunch of glimmering and contentment. Oh, well, the icy atmosphere might... Well, no, the icy atmosphere still expires with an... an Oh, looks like uh, I did wind up with a dread. Well, that's a shame because um, I could have uh, I could have used the contentment to get rid of it. And there is 
the wolf divided. Caput Garret Lupinium. Uh, the sun was divided, and this is its wound. Okay, so let's do. We'll uh, curl our hands in the right shapes and begin again. So I have potentially three dread uh, showing up. Power is stronger than uh, the power that was here. The curse won't touch us. So yeah, I am definitely in need of uh, some contentment. Oh, <laughs> season of despair night waits for me. All right. Um, So we definitely are in a situation where the game can be lost. Our power is stronger than the power that was here. The curse won't touch us. So there's a number of threats on the board right now. So in addition to the dread, um, we have the... Might all be lost, we'll see. Um, you know, grabbing a fascination right now would not be the worst possible outcome. I wish I could get something else from the the peacock door, but in this case, the fascination is going to help me out. <laughs> Nothing. All right. So, um... We will combine this dread and contentment. I'm going to combine the fascination and the dread when one of them emerges. Don't have anything that I can repair the mirror with. Um, yeah, we'll leave. So we'll leave. Oh, hang on. Um, I can also combine with the fleeting reminiscence when the time comes. The great telescope has rusted and fallen from the dome. The lenses have cracked, but pale lights rotate slowly above the floor, like lamps held aloft by dancers. Perhaps they'll imitate the procession of heavenly bodies. Perhaps their motion mourns the passing of the sun. More money. While I'm free. I could do a big painting to get rid of that last staleness. Uh, or I could... Um, do I think I'll start with the commissions? So we need a very substantial commission on Forge. And in thirty seconds, we wind up with a dread. I think that's going to get sucked up by the, the despair no matter what. The chief of the astronomers who dwelt here must have been a practitioner of the invisible arts. In a cedarwood box in his quarters beneath the decaying bed, we find what we sought. So, there's another notoriety for my trouble. Got Eau Claire and Violet are back. Violet. <laughs> Violet are back. Got the Raw Prophet and the Caligene. Now, the Caligene I'm going to send straight on the evidence. Actually, there was another thing I wanted to check with uh, that one. Too late. Some devious minion to destroy evidence. My scheme will most likely succeed. There is always a chance that something will go awry. Um, and we've got the cracked watchman's glass. That's welcome. Uh, a consecrated lintel. This is the skull of a door through which power has passed. Larkabine Codex. Christopher Larkabus claimed to have purchased two handwritten copies of the Codex in the supposedly extinct Frisian tongue from a family of witches on the shores of the Sea of Marmara. The third was given to the sea. And the Book of Masks. Athena Vanna's work on the rogue hour called the Vagabond. So, again, there are ways that I can I can get uh, Frisian, but I'm going to stick with uh, I'm going to stick with the, the old-fashioned way. 
let's look at so like if I can it would actually be nice to just jump straight into the next expedition I, I have kind of combined the raw profit and the Caligame the whole time but I don't have to so snow's keeper a mountain peak temple of ill omened aspect jewel bright fungus slicks glow in the snow none has come here in a generation but still something moves within um, so here's what we'll do I'm going to add the funds. We'll definitely put the raw profit in. So we'll brave the mountain snows to reach the temple. If the dead rise against us, we'll suppress them. But there's a malignity here that we must suppress or it will return home with us. All right, well, that kind of tells us everything we're up against. So definitely we're bringing Violet. And the rest we'll see. We'll see how it goes. swing wide a little darkness will mellow my light even dread has its uses so that fascination actually really really saved me there um, so I won't have anything for the bleak thoughts and the icy atmosphere can just sort of pass by on its own so the expedition continues our expedition plans for the next challenge it'll consume funds I can add funds now or I could send another follower so we've got the high passes Bleak and gray-green slopes lift the eye to distant snow-edged straining peaks. It'll be a devil of a job to find anything there. Forge will sustain us. Winter will shield us. Uh, the worms in the world will need lantern or moth to suppress this curse. Otherwise, it will not keep us from our goal, but it may trouble us later. So, of course, we've already got moth with the raw prophet. And then finally, the fretful dead. Not all dead rest easy. The ones, uh, These ones dislike our intrusion. We can prevail against them with edge, or they may obey one who comes in the name of winter. So we'll add Eau Claire. That's going to give us our 10 winter. And then when we can, we'll add uh, Porter, Sylvia, or Yuzabet, uh to the, to the task. I have finished the manuscript. So good news. I'm probably going to do just kind of a... Uh, it's, I'm probably just going to bounce between uh, Glover and Glover and, um, and uh, commissions for the next little bit. Despair prowls elsewhere. No dread empowers this despair. It's over for now. And Season of Visions is coming up next. Season of Visions is a little harder to deal with in the sense that, um, like, once the once the fascinate. Well, no, I guess once the fascinations in, I can potentially generate dread as well. Yeah, no, it's it's not necessarily any more difficult now that the fleeting reminiscence are in. Actually, arguably, it's easier. Um, the hour called the Madrigard is at home in the cold. She will almost certainly keep us from falling. Okay, so I will... I'll add Sylvia right away. Um, and then I need to make sure that I add uh, the funds. So I don't make the same mistake I made last time. A minion is returned. The evidence has been destroyed. I am a little safer. So now the Caligine goes in instead of Sylvia. And let's see if we can talk about anything else. Ah, yes, Clovet. Let's deal with our reputation. Not everyone is sympathetic to our aims, but if we have problems with our reputation, our disciple can probably smooth them over. Actually, I think I'm also going to get rid of my staleness on the next uh, the next run. I know it won't let me uh, turn in the commission, but I'll use one of my notoriety. So I'll use one notoriety for a painting, and then I'll use the other uh, to be picked up by the charm. passes frost scarred and shivering we've made it through the mountains right, when I close my eyes figures march behind my eyelids when I open them the light hurts so here we're gonna paint again it'll be three passion 
and then I'll use the uh, the close to expiring notoriety. So this is just so I can get a little bit of extra money. The three passions to try and deal with the staleness. And then I suppose I should figure out what I want the painting to be about. We'll do the fleet of reminiscence. And we have nothing coming up next uh, turn, so. Fluids thin, my flesh desiccates, my changes uncoil, my passions dim. I am becoming less than what I want. Expedition plans for the next challenge, it'll consume funds. I can add funds now or I could send another follower. Also, the colors of the night, I could spend money on better paints or perhaps I could find more exotic pigments. Uh, the standards of daylight society cannot apply to us, but perhaps we won't emphasize that point. Perhaps we'll rely on charm and good humor. I've supplied elegant platitudes about the high principles of our organization. The world goes away. So if I'm lucky, I'll get some contentment that I can mellow the dread with. The dead circle at the edge of our vision like frayed dreams. The very air around us is chill with winter's shadow. They must recognize that. Right, the artist's reward. My recent work is considered significant. I may yet earn a living from this, but nothing is certain. So, we get the fleeting reminiscence back. There's a handful of mystique, which is always going to be a consequence. Ooh, contentment. Ooh. So a minute and a half left of the notoriety. Didn't really... I, I got my money back for that. <laughs> um, and for some reason I still have the staleness. That's a bit frustrating. All right. Uh, plus I wound up with a old and happy far off things for that effort. But at the very least I can combine... Mind the two here. No one understands, or else they understand too well. So, turns out we didn't lose the notoriety. We did get a peculiar rumor for the trouble. Um, I'll turn in with Madame Bichet, because uh, this everything just sort of fell apart there. Uh, it's less likely that Clovan is going to wind up picking up a notoriety um, now that there's five in um, reputation on the board. Received currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. So, in this case, we're basically just drowning the problem with the mystique. Um, let's. I should do something. Um, I think the watchman's glass might actually be more expensive to repair, so let's have a chat with Belsine and see if we can. We can begin to repair this, but we'll take at least a silver spintrea to purchase the necessary materials. Well, those are the spintrea I have, so... The dead draw back, their almost faces flat and watchful. They will not trouble us. Afterclip's wistfulness has touched me. So, I can't rely on that contentment to fix it. I might just do the painting again, but hope for a better... a better outcome than last time. Although, again, it would be nice to do commissions so that I can start repairing mirrors. The expedition continues. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now, or I could send another follower. All right. The sun still moves. The wind still walks. My journals are the labyrinth clue. No. He's going to want to make evidence again, although I, we might get lucky in terms of all of the mystique. When I close my eyes, figures march behind my eyelids. When I open them, the light hurts. I think I'm going to try the same trick again. Um, I'm going to keep the close to expiring notoriety. That might be inviting the, um, the detective to wind up taking that one in the end, but that's... Uh, That's life, I guess. We're almost certainly strong enough in Moth to be secure against the curse. And Silver Spintrea for the mirror.
All right, well, we're getting lucky with the Mystique. Actually, oh, it's just shy of what it needs to be, so there's still a small chance he might pick up that notoriety. Mirror's Repair, it shines again as it did once before, so now seems as good a time as any to go back through the Peacock Door, which somehow fell out of the row. Dark days, I must be careful not to let doubts creep in. And then Season of Vision's coming up too, so that's going to make life a little difficult. No contentment this time, sadly. Although we did get rid of the staleness, and we did get some money for our, our trouble. So back to Glover and Glover. I'll leave painting behind for a little bit. I am going to be faced with a tricky decision in at the Peacock Door because in 29 seconds I might potentially generate um, I might potentially generate dread. Our power is stronger than the power that was here. The curse won't touch us. with the notoriety, although of course we're still going to get it at the end of the expedition. So, All right, well I know what I don't want, um, so I got a um, Worm Museum or the Red Church. Because um, I'm a big baby, I'm going to try the Red Church, just because I know this might generate dread. Hey! That's the right call. I saw the red church again last night with its pews of bone, the stained glass and the shades of ruby, the golden altar that beats like a heart. That night, the names of the grail gathered to speak of those long who had sworn off the pleasures of the bedchamber, save between a man and a man or a woman and a woman. They still pay tri uh, the tribute of delight, uh, uh, an ivory said. They do not bear fruit, a lovely said. If Forge and Son had only joined a thirstily lamented, then they, f uh, then they fell to gossiping of the long of the house of Leith and their deeds in the desert. I remember it still. All right. Why am I talking with Sulu Chana? Did I... Oh! <laughs> I wanted to talk with Madame Bichet. All right, that's... Uh, I was wondering why that was taking so long to get the com uh, commission. We've been able to avoid... We definitely had a couple of, uh, of dicey spots. We ended last stream with uh, a, a really challenging set of circumstances, and we definitely wound up in a really tight spot a little bit earlier here, but we seem to have... Uh, we sort of seem to have navigated most of it. Is she disappointed? It's difficult to tell with Sulojana. So we'll get the commission from Dr. Bichet. I think in this case I'm going to fulfill a commission. So the thing I really wanted to do was um, I wanted to get rid of the um, I wanted to get rid of the staleness on the odd chance that I stop working at G and G. Uh, there is definitely a there's definitely a fairly strong argument for saying that this job doesn't suit me anymore. Although at least getting rid of the supervisor has given me some more time. Um, but uh, clearly, doing as many doing as many commissions as possible is is one of my highest priorities right now, just so I can get this Ventreya to repair the mirrors so often. Anyways, uh, the interior of the temple throbs with luminescent fungi. We must peel them from the altar with our gloved hands before we can loot the place. It is as cold as rain chilled flesh. Our gloves are now stained with light. Our breath mists in the temple's cold. 
The treasures that un uh, sorry, the treasures that unknown priests left here, and a pitiful huddle of bones. A sacrifice, or did a later visitor end their visit here? The glowing fungus has etched their skeleton with its acids. So, flying work by Eau Claire and Violet, although I have them in the other order. Where is the sun gone? A discussion in VAC of the bag Vagabond's travels. This will be a particularly uh, high priority for translation. An enigmatic sculpture, an elaborate ivory sculpture of impossible intricacy around and across its surfaces. Sanskrit inscriptions spiral against matching lines of VAC. If you speak Sanskrit, you can use this to learn VAC, the first language of the world. So as cool as this thing is, um, I don't need it. A furious sliver. When the lionsmith turned against the colonel, he crushed his own sword in his fist. Each tiniest fragment of that weapon still thrills with rage. 12 strength, edge, item. hallowed polos, uh, the ring crown of a savage mother, stained with, uh, with essence, woven with the scraps of hair and blessed with flecks of skin. And finally, the uh, dream of the conspiracy of the lower skies, siftings of the disgraced oracle, daemon uh, and Zatan. So, uh, where is she gone is the first priority for translation. Let's get that out of the way. Lock and steady door, the work begins. And we're going to plow right into the next, uh, the next expedition. So the Mausoleum of Wolves. Uh, the Chili Monument was... Uh, this Chili Monument was built here long before Rome fell. Stone wolves watch the door. A chamber within has been... Uh, was carved from rock to await fragments of the sun as it pro uh, at its prophesied funeral procession. That procession never came, uh, the, but the dead still are drawn here. So probably we will have more need for winter, uh, but I do want to keep my summons uh, alive and well, so... Uh, did the sun ever come here when its death was pronounced? Uh, perhaps that pronouncement was premature. In any case, we can usurp its progress. We'll have to face avalanches, furious ghosts, and a door sealed by adept arch architects. Let's be ready. And I'm getting really close to the time that I need to wrap up, so I may not be able to finish this expedition, but we'll at least kind of close things off as best as we can. Here's what she needs, commission on Grail. Jannings, I think we're working on his right now, so nothing to talk about. Nope, that's not true. Uh, we're going to have a chat with Valsine about fixing the Cracked Watchman's glass. plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I can add funds now or I could send another follower. So um, this is actually going to be a bit of a... This is going to be a bit of a pain. So I again, I need to add Violet and Eau Claire right away. I also need to add another Forge, but I also I need to add another fund. So the order in which these things get added matters quite a bit. It actually makes me think that I should try and, and push my exit as much as possible because I suspect I'm not going to remember the order in which I need to do everything. Mirrors are calm, the sun is steady, the glory recedes. I am sane if that means anything. No fascination drives your visions, it's over for now. All right, the commission's done. Uh, I finished the manuscript. Clearly we need to get back to work before I get fired. I prepared the text for study, so read where is she gone. The Vagabond is recorded to have, oh sorry, uh, the Spief, perhaps a single adept, perhaps a council of scholars, hypothesizes secret events from limited evidence with persuasive accuracy. The Vagabond is recorded to have traveled not only the Mansus and the Wood, uh, sorry, the Vagabond is recorded to have traveled not only the Mansus and the Wood, not only all nine continents, but also places forbidden to other hours. Okay. Now Claire comes in. 
They were called the Madrigod is at home in the cold. Uh, she will almost certainly keep us from falling. And in this case, I might just add the forge right away, and that way it's just, um, it's just money I need to keep throwing at the problems. There's no way that I'm going to be able to outlast the, the investigation, so this notoriety is, is going to bite me at some point, but I'm reasonably happy that we've wasted their, a lot of their time. Frost Garden shivering, we've made it through the mountains. All right, the mirror is repaired, it shines again as it did once before, so I think at this point we're just going to go straight back into the, into the peacock door. And we can turn in the uh, commission for... Our friend Godlob. All right, so I want to avoid dread if I can. This always pops up when I'm uh, when I'm about to go through the peacock door. All right. Receive the currency of the secret world, and my patron has let tantalizing information slip. So I don't exactly need um, more silver Sprintrea right now, but I'll I'll take what I can get. I mean, I can still repair stuff with it. All right, our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I could add funds now. I could send another follower. Um, let's get uh, laid lime. From our gossip and invisible lore, Spieth deduces that the Vagabond has visited nowhere, but that she will not return. He also asserts that she is yet to visit the glory, but that inevitably this must be her goal. So three Vagabond's maps. I can't remember how many um, locations there are in the, um, what is it, Lone, Lone and Level Sands. Um, there is a point where, of course, I'd like to double them up in order to uh, to get the Port Noon anecdotes, but um, I don't know. I tend to do the stuff um, in order anyway. Um, but again, I mean, a, a nice little a nice little stack of, um, of Vagabond maps is a... Uh, it's a Fairly strong argument for taking over Moreland's shop at this point. I feel reasonably confident in my ability to generate erudition and glimmering, so it's really just a matter of... Um, it's really, at this point, just a matter of being able to um, get the... You know, get the fascination or the fascination equivalent. And just being able to make it so that, that this fascination doesn't run out of control in the name of uh, of getting a piece of lore that I want. It just seems like a it seems like a better choice overall, personally. But we'll see. Alright, there's the notoriety. That circle the edge of our vision like frayed dreams. The very air around us is chill with winter's shadow. They must recognize that. like that spawn something um i'm gonna risk the worm museum actually well that's inconvenient last night i visited the worm museum which is both within the mansus for security and without for safety the hours have charged the colonel with the defense uh, with its defense and even the lion smith does not challenge him here winter is the chiefest aspect of this place the worms thrive where things end but they can also be ended and they must if the mansus is to endure this morning, the chilly certainty of the colonel's hand still lies on my shoulder. I think in this case, I'm just going to dump the... I think I'm just going to dump the influence. Um, we still have a hanger on that we can we can bring in. But I am... Uh, this trick is is sort of running... Running it through. I, I really can't do this too many more times. So this one is ready. This is mostly just to avoid dealing with a, a trend that emerges at an inconvenient time. And I am going to get sick at some point, so I don't know whether or not I want to do the Glover and Glover. Actually, I should probably do the math on that to see whether or not it still makes sense to um, to do day labor and then Glover and Glover, or if the uh, senior senior position is worth it. Should work that out. Wary dead. The dead draw back, they're almost faces flat and watchful. They will not trouble us. So I think at the end of this expedition, I will call it. I was hoping to go for two hours, but I know if I go too much longer, 
Uh, I'm not going to be able to get groceries, and I do need to do that. Though I want to double... It was, there was a threat that it would be raining, and I'm not going to be able to carry them uh, all that way through the rain. Well, it might rain on the way back, but I seem to be... They seem to be safe. All right, they will not forget the savor I've given them. This one is loyal but lacks initiative. So we now have all of the colors, although obviously two have not yet been upgraded. I finished the manuscript. To G. We know we need to do Glover, Glover and Glover, even if I, I ultimately decide that it's better to do day labor to um, to um, fix the or to to fix the the affliction. Um, I know I'm at least going to want to work there to, to figure out. Uh, is that 90 seconds that he's? Or I'll say 70 just in case. Uh, you know what? I'll I'll work it out another time. Don't have the, I don't have the patience to uh, to work it out. Um, I was gonna wait the 25 seconds for Count Jennings, but I might as well get Valcine to to work on it. It's not like I'm gonna work on his commission immediately, so there's no time time pressure. Our expedition plans for the next challenge. It'll consume funds. I could add funds now, or I could send another follower. We've already got our 13 forge, so we're okay there. Looks like he couldn't turn that into evidence, so I'm lucky. We'll almost certainly shatter this warded door. The repair... I really could have done a better job of setting up the repair factory. I think probably what I'm really facing is the consequence of not being better at fulfilling commissions while I could do them earlier on. But you know, it's a little, a little late for me to be worrying about that. Um, I think I am going to try the the 45 seconds at another job. I know it's going to. I'm still going to have to go back to Glover and Glover, but all doors must open as all lives must end. This door has found its end here today. So my main reasoning behind the the workplace is that it just gets me at the higher paying job faster. That's kind of a, the main reason why I keep doing that. I love his experiments and pleasure are endless in their ingenuity, but so far I can match them. For days, for days, the memories of this will interrupt my thoughts like lightning on a summer night. All, right. all doors must open as all lives must end. This door has found its end here today. So I've got Watchman's Glass. If I want to go through... Uh, I'll wait to heal the affliction first, and then we'll uh, we'll head through. Now we can talk with Count Jannings about a new new job. My strength attracts comments. Not all comments are compliments. I draw my pay and leave. And all I need now is time. Let's get back to G and G. Here's what he needs. Okay, so we've got Commission Heart, Commission Grail, and then whatever Adim wants. When I arrive, Rhaenyra is hazed in perfumes. When I leave, she lies tangled in a glorious sprawl of limbs. I will carry her with me for days. So, contentment, a bittersweet memory, and we've got Rhaenyra back. Uh, still nothing for me to do with the talk verb yet. Okay, so now we should talk with Dr. Adim for another commission. The whispering of the dead is quiet, but another sound echoes in the mausoleum. A faint descending howl, like metal tearing in the hull of a ship. Sorry, just gonna get the commission. 
dropping in pitch until it churns our bones. We could, uh, it could almost be the wind, but it is not. We should not stay long here. So I got a free vitality just from the course of the heart. That was because I, you know, I used heart somewhere. Uh, it's not guaranteed, but every once in a while you get something nice. Bittersweet memory is definitely going to be one that I need to uh, I need to be careful in unpacking, but it can be useful. The chill in the air deepens until our skin crisps with ice. At the core of the mausoleum is a white marble bowl upon a granite plinth. Uh, it is filled with snow whose touch burns the skin, and buried in it, items of note. Were they concealed here, or were they offerings? Nothing beside remains. So again, the pair of uh, winter followers did their... Works. I've got wolf snow, far too cold ever to melt in anything but the hottest noonday sun. It will very gradually consume human flesh. The Velshorn inscriptions, hundreds of matching, uh, matching lines in Greek and Frisian poetry copied from a wall similar or identical to the inscriptions of Cal Velshorn discovered in Halicarnassus. If you speak Greek, this you can be uh, your key. Sorry, you. You can use this as a key to Frisian, so that's particularly welcome. A Second Glory, a work by uh, Juse, the priest and hermit scholar. I always keep forgetting there is one other um, word, uh, deep, uh, Mandiac. So again, we can learn that through supernatural means, or we can, we can do it properly. <laughs> Um, and then finally, as the sun his course, uh, Joel of the Bridge, retired soldier and sometime tollkeeper, wrote this epic poem about Alexander's famously inexplicable decision at Issus to withdraw from the war with the uh, Achaem sorry. Achaemenids. Uh, this is the problem with reading this stuff most of the time, is I don't actually know how to pronounce most of it. Uh, and his subsequent return to Macedonia. I have sometimes heard people say Macedonia, but I've I've always thought it was Macedonia. So um, anyone from North Macedonia can now yell at me for incorrect pronunciation. And hello, if you are from there. Um, okay, um, for the time being, I will queue up the hunter's pits. Uh, this is going to be the end of the stream, but I'm going to queue up the next few tasks. And we can get a proper start on uh, next Wednesday. So the hunters pits the tearing tribes enlarge this cave system, digging shafts, preparing traps. It may have been a place of execution or a proving ground. In either case, it's sacred and the tribes don't want us here. If we survive them, there is still one more terror in the cramped tunnels. The trap labyrinths of the tearing tribes. We'll have to scale the mountains and battle our way through the tribes. After that, no doubt, there will be something else. So this suggests that at least the moth will be helpful. We'll probably need our winter pair, although maybe a forge, um, uh, a forge pair will also help because, of course, if it's uh, traps that we're after, we want to, we want to break the traps, and that seems like a forge thing, uh, or a lantern. But of course, we don't have any, uh, we don't have any lantern in the in the party by default. So. And then finally, we will uh, we'll translate, um, or not translate, we'll, uh, we'll learn our language. All right. Um, thank you, everybody, for stopping by for this abbreviated, but still perfectly enjoyable, for me at least, um, Cult of Simulator stream. Uh, again, this was on the occasion of Lovecraft Day. I don't think there's any contest for you to... Uh, for you to... Uh, participate in anymore but um i kind of feel like there's a <laughs> i'll use any excuse that i can really to play uh, play some more cultist simulator it's a perfectly enjoyable game and uh it seems to be that there's um the, the one thing i never hear from people is that i play the game too much <laughs> so um with all that in mind i'm gonna take a quick second to see who's online i think Azure Wind was streaming. He was, but not anymore. Um, 
So, oh, you know what? There are two really wonderful streamers online right now. And I feel a bit bad that I can only pick one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a quick shout out. So this is Fruit Melody. Fruit Melody does a lot of um, sort of art streams. Uh, they do commissions. And um, I really enjoyed watching her. Um, she's also does a little Dead by Daylight, which isn't quite my cup of tea as a game. But just generally, this is another stream I found through Apocalypse. Uh, and I've really enjoyed the time uh, that I've hung out. Uh, I've hung out there. Outworld is also streaming uh, on the Retro channel. Actually, I should give him a quick shout out too. Um, but uh, I've noticed that Sniper Guy Gaming is uh, currently playing Control, and uh, I've not played Control. I have it. I'd be very interested in playing Control, and I suppose if you guys would like to see it, let me know uh, whether that's on YouTube in the comments or. Um, in Twitch. Uh, no promises, but because um, I mean, it's easy for me to just, you know, sit down and play the game on my own time and have a lot of fun with it. I'm told it's excellent. Um, but uh, if that's something you'd like to see, that's probably good feedback for me to get. But uh, I may not stay around um, because it's a game that I want to play. But uh, uh, Cyber Guy is, is definitely a nice guy and um, someone, he sometimes plays with Waffles McGee, which is always nice to see the two of them uh, combined. And I feel like that's, uh, that's a good environment to, um, to uh, send you off to. So um, obviously it's not quite the same, uh, not quite the same numbers that uh, I'd like to, like to send along, but um, We'll give give them what we can. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I will be back tomorrow. I'm not sure what I'm playing yet. Uh, for those of you who only come for Cultist Simulator, that will be on uh, next Wednesday. And uh, for the rest of you, uh, I'm not sure what it is tomorrow, but it'll be one of my, my variety choices. And then Monday, we're back with uh, Stellaris. Or sorry, not Stellaris. Stellaris, we're wrapping up. So probably Age of Wonders Planetfall at that point. Anyways, thank you for watching. See you next time. Enjoy Sniper Guy Gaming.